Let's now take a look at creating extended chords and using them in chord progressions. Specifically, we're going to take a look at creating seventh chords. We're in the key of C, and this is the major triad. To convert this to a major seventh, all I need to do is add in one more note. With this middle finger here, I just need to tap on this pad. And that's a C major seven. Again, with the left hand, I'm still playing the root. Now I can move this shape to the right to get the second chord. So that's a two minor seventh. Move the shape again. Three minor seven. Four major seven. Five dominant seven. Six minor seven. 7 minus 7 flat 5 and back to the major 7th. Let's play this with a beat. Now that we know about all these different chords in the key of C major, we can create our own chord progressions. There's a 1-4-5 progression that's quite popular. one four one Or the 2 5 one. Now we can easily transpose this chord progression so if I hit the scale button here, I can hit this button here to switch to the key of G. We're still in major, so it's going to be a G major. So now if I play that same 1, 4, 5 progression, it's now in the key of G. I can even change the entire scale. So I'll tap the scale button again. We were in major all this while, so if I twist this style right above, I can switch to minor. And now same chord progression, one, four, five, but now it's going to be in a minor scale. The octave buttons over here are helpful to transpose the chords. So right now, if this feels a bit too high, I can hit the octave down button to go down an octave. Or hit the octave button twice to go up an octave. So now you can use all these different seventh chords to create your own chord progressions.